Hey everybody, Jason Shadrick here with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the Winter Nam Show in Anaheim. We're at the Shirtler booth with Drago and Carlo from Shirtler. And we are just listening to Roy, this new combo you guys brought to the show. So tell us about some of the features we have and what we were listening to there on the intro, Drago. Roy actually is our newest amplifier introduced here at the Nam Show uh, for this year. And we're talking about the seven channel full class A pre-amplifier here built in in this combo. It's like having a really high-end mixer on stage. So it's, uh, it's built around the musician. You have everything you need on it, all kind of inputs, inserts, but we'll go through the features a little bit later. Um, this electronic particularity is that the, there's, it's so quick, the transient is great, so you don't need that much power to be heard. People hear it very naturally, it doesn't disturb the ears, and it's very comfortable. The power amp is an Embang & Olufsen, uh, 400 watt power amp inside, it's digital power amp, and combined with this electronics just to make makes it sound great. So yeah. let's go through the features a yeah, little bit. We have actually five complete channels, uh, three instrument combined, uh, three instrument and four, four microphone inputs. The first four inputs have also an insert each on every channel. The instrument, uh, the fifth channel is just a simple instrument input, and then we have an effect return that could be used as a line in and the serial input for a playback. Yep. Um, we run two effect processors parallelly, so we have a multi effect that goes from delays, choruses, flangers, vo voice doublers, stuff like that, and a reverb with a uh, decay regulation on it. You can mix those two to obtain the really nice effects. Actually, it's uh, raises up the, the possibilities you can have with with effects. Let's hear like some of the delays, maybe. Yeah. This uh, let's use the delay with reverb. This is the classical one that is mostly mostly used. Okay. We have the 100, milli, uh, 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, 500, 600, so let's go to a longer one, 400. The voice doubler that is not good for a guitar, let's go to the choruses, let's take a medium one. exaggerated with the effects so you might hear really how it sounds. And they're hearing it, just so everybody knows, you're hearing it through the DI here, that's what we have plugged that's into our correct. camera. Yeah, the DI out is not the usual DI out that you can't use at the stage. It sounds very good and um, you can adjust it, it's an adjustable DI out so you have your volume output here directly, nobody will complain you're too low or too high. Uh, this. The main features um, you have on the interesting features are the semi-parametric mids on the first two channels, so you can really catch up your voice really good on it, or other instruments where you need this kind of uh, regulation. Then you have um, we have a special resonance filter that is made. It's a notch filter with two fixed frequencies, 150 or 200 hertz, mainly used for instruments on stages or on a boomy stage, so you can remove exactly that frequency that, you, that is disturbing you, one of the two usually, it's always one of these two. And you just, by taking it down it's flat, by taking it up you, you go up to minus 8 dB on that frequency. So it's a very narrow notch filter, just 8 dB less. So you don't lose on a sound, you just adjust the problem. We have a headphone output on this one, an aux output that could be used. The aux out actually has, um, is parallel to the reverb aux, so you can go out through here, not using this reverb, go in another effect and go back here like a, then to make your effect loop, yeah. for example. Um, there is a low cut, a mute, shelter, um, a mute switch on, the, on this amp and the main insert. The line out is just connected to a master, so it's depending on the master volume. Maybe we should hear also the reverb, how it sounds. So I'll cut off the multi-effect and do add some reverb on it. Wet, wet the 
sound, so it's it's uh, it's not a very invasive uh, reverb that you can't really use. It's a very nice thing to, to have on stage. So what will be the uh, pricing and availability on the Roy? Uh, we have um, we sell them in two versions, a black one and a wood one as this one. The black one is more, more uh, a road version with the front um, with the front grille. Yeah, and this one is more a nice looking uh, model for clubs or bars or people using it at home and with this uh, with this textile in front the price is 1500 retail it's a map price so it's um, and it's available in the USA through our dealers yep. dealer network now? Uh, or now is already available and through our shop online shop directly okay. well where can people go online to find more about the Roy and everything else you guys are doing at Shirley yep. Uh, www.shirtler.com uh, We have plenty of products all around the acoustic world, so check it out. All right, well, thank you guys. We're going to have you play us out, Carlo. This is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com.